It is with the saying, to keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Hopefully, we can maintain that to have our friends within our grasp and our enemies inside our- Oh, shoot. Oh, no, they're inside our borders. Welcome back to the Globe Propious Conclave. Uh-oh. Right over here, we're currently eh, mostly spectating the roar between the Merovandians and <laughs> the Merovandians, the Asperians, all of them versus the menacing of Varian partnership. I would have loved to have also taken a part of this war to assist them, but I guarantee you that if I did, I'd be basically losing everything. Because uh, I've been, I haven't played Stellaris in way too long, and the Empire that I am trying to play right now is. Definitely not the strongest. Maybe eventually I'll figure out the proper way to be playing this kind of empire. But here's an event that is old as tales as time. On Karelian Hope, an odd factory has been discovered. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on the Karelian Hope. The building in its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time population would easily be able to use the facility to add to the colony's production output. Ooh! We get a free odd factory! What could possibly go wrong with that? And look at that! With that we now have, which our workers can do! Perfect job for seaweed! Oh, wait, this is uh, actually not a great world for seaweed. Never mind, ignore what I said. And we are immediately gonna put somebody over to start working in that odd factory. In fact, we don't even need this colonist. Right over here, we're building our city district, so that planet's going to be doing just fine, and that's going to help improve our alloy production. Isn't that fantastic? All right, seaweed, I need you. My goodness, see? Well, again, we're back. We're stuck in this. We don't have enough jobs for our seaweed. Um, so I'd love to just build industrial districts. Maybe I'm just going to make this a trade world. That's just, it's terrible, though. Stronghold. That'll help with our naval capacity. Could also build an energy grid. Hmm. I don't really like any of these options is the issue. We're building a ship for our scientist. Oh, perfect. Migration treaty has been broken. We're going to go ahead and have Mil Milky Hamon. Uh, active cloaking. And do I have any planet that's currently not being assisted? Which one of my planets? Hold on, so there should be expansion planet, planets and sectors. Perfect. So which one of these planets is actually producing the most? Gargantuan Pearl. Now I've already got a science ship over that. Because... That's somewhere over here. The next highest is gonna be 84 at Covale Prime. I have a science ship over there? I do. So you're assisting that. Rhea Laura, yes. That's being assisted. Jincath Prime. Can assist the research over here. Or I could have the ship go out and explore. So I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Is we're just going to survey all of the systems. Oh, you know what? Survey all the systems, investigate all the anomalies as well. Just go, ahead, go out there and explore. Tell me what you find. At this point, I mean, you're you're at this. You're mostly just extra. Hopefully, you can find something out there. Science is finally doing better. We're at 5:42. An odd factor. Oh no, here we. What are, what's with the factory now? The crew we assigned to the work, the old factory at Krillin, has disappeared. We could send a new workforce to take their place, or we could raise the facility to the ground, making sure that this never happens again. Um. That is not good. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, that 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 pop that pop is gone. We've lost the Corellian. It's 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 gone. They're gone. Well, it still suits our needs. We we really need that. So we're gonna say one less researcher. Go to the odd factory, please. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, military fleet, star bases. We're getting a lot of unity at this point. Are 
y'all doing on y'all's fleets? Oh, 20! Well, I'm still struggling on alloys. Let's keep reinforcing. Fleet power. No reports of any problems have been issued from the odd factory on Karelian Hope. It seems that the colony will maintain the projected production estimates. Hey, that's good. And that is the end of that little story chain. Fantastic. Looks like we get to keep it. Equal standing act. Huh? What is this? E each pre FTL civilization that is. Central to acquire space flight and join the galactic community. As such, we must treat any future members with dignity and respect. Yeah, of course. They are potential friends. Um, oh yeah, alloys have become way too expensive, so we're gonna bring that down to 15. Uh, we need to buy even more consumer goods. Because at this moment, we're actually just burning all our energy credits because we're buying too many alloys. Uh, with the Burke of the galactic community and the galactic market, we'll be able to uh, spend a little bit more on alloys depending on the balance across the entire space community instead of just our own empire. Uh, so that actually will be one good thing for having the galactic community. Jinkath Prime, you've got overpopulation. What do you got? Seaweed? Dang it. Mining districts. Rather not. We're gonna go and just build more city districts for now. Because that'll give us potentially more researchers. Speaking of which, what are you getting right now? You're getting seaweed! No. Alright, so at this moment we are gonna force Osperians? How are we doing on pups? Osperians are actually doing pretty good in our empire. But I would like. Would I like a single Merovandian? Yeah, we'll get a single Merovandian on this planet, so that way we'll start assembling them slowly over time as well. Any place that doesn't have the jaw, the spot for seaweed, do we have Merovandians? We don't. Alright, we're gonna switch you over to that, which we lost a lot of time! Okay, so, note to self, only do it when it's very low. You don't need your tropical world. Um. Oh, you're fine right there. You're actually fine right there. Meanwhile, you. Oh, we need more scientists. Uh, we're gonna get our Mirovandian. Our one Mirovandian on this world. Medical workers, and we'll finish that seaweed first. They're colonists. Y'all are both going to be medical workers to help with habitability and amenities, as well as pop growth speed, organic pop assembly speed, all that fun stuff. We, we don't need more seaweed over here. We're going to get a Mirovandian for assembling. I think that takes care of all of these planets. We're gonna have to keep our eye on that every once in a while. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six. Food is actually hurting quite a bit right now. So, I build a more hydroponic space on any of these. I don't think so. Yeah, we've got hydroponic space everywhere. How are we doing? Farmers. Where did all the food come from? Why, why are we suddenly hurting on food? Well, we're do we'll be doing just fine on food for now, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Ooh! Habitat complex has been built. The Aura Brea Habitat complex is now complete. Who's swearing at me? Hey, the Cl uh, Chlorvincerians are still throwing harsh and mean words in my general direction. Oh, that does hurt my feelings. So, in 
or a Brea, right over here. Habitat, we're gonna colonize you with a glow pearl. We need consumer goods, perfect. Right over there, low habitability. Uh, right. Yes, so, yeah. Yep. This one, Aura, Oro, Habitat. Hmm. Yes. Perfect. And with that, so what are you doing now? You're doing nothing. But you, I think you're automatically building something over here? No, you're not automatically building something over here. Mega structure lacking. Need just a couple more energy credits. And let's build around. This energy. So build a mega structure, a minor orbital is a basic orbital designed to provide additional living and working quarters in the population of the local habitat central complex. Must be built in order to minor. Uh, it's not major. So we're gonna go ahead and build a minor orbital. It won't take too too long. And try to improve the habitat, I guess. Because this is actually the first time I'm working with new habitats since the change. So this is going to take half a year for them to build. We've got overpopulation here at Tregula's Cross Prime. Because... <laughs> of course. Of course you got seaweed and now you're trying to make more seaweed. We... don't need that. Oh, but what I can go ahead and do is just build a generator district. And that'll make, fix everything. We'll be just fine. Well, in Covale Prime. You've got so many jobs available. We're going to lose a little bit of scientists, but the metal core core will make this grow even faster. And we'll build another summit research lab. Why not? All right, perfect. So we're going to lose a little bit of science. But we now have colonial bureaucracy. And that can give us galactic bureaucracy, even more base intel, uh, network dominance. Uh, let's see. Relay. Unity from factions plus 10%. Deep space and black site. Ooh. Ooh, but or I could get a, the Fleet Academy. Wow, these are all excellent choices. I also really like the. Uh, galactic bureaucracy that base intel level is really good how are we doing on on our edicts we actually really could use it for a little bit more unity income really like the idea of the galactic bureaucracy both of these really do help with unity though however we're barely gaining anything from a faction so 10 percent more if we just mouse over here, we're getting from factions about 40, so it'd be an additional 4, whereas this would fix about like 13. So we'll go with the Galactic Bureaucracy, that'll be done in 3 years. Fantastic news. And we'll continue to improve upon that. We need to keep building up my fleet because we're not being, we're not keeping up fast enough. They've got 21! We're at... Uh, 14? Yeah, we're, we're gonna get overrun if a war happens. We just, we're, we don't have enough alloy production. We're putting everything into science. And Glow Pearl. Why are you unhappy? Gonna get that Neurovandian. 
All right, well, my glow pearl friend. Oh, you're the mining one. We're gonna go and build a mining district. Actually, we'll go with a uh, city first. So we could try to give the glow pearl a better job. Ooh, better yet, industrial district. Better yet, in that industrial district, we need the alloys, and it'll help with the consumer goods, which will help all of our fundings. The Avarians have become even more xenophobic. You hate others, alien species, even more lovely. Tration. Keep making this even more difficult. Acquire another asset. Government, right over here. Go ahead and commence. So the more assets we get, the higher the infiltration level we can have, and the better our intel can possibly be. And I would very much like that. Looks like they're actually... The Avarians are actually losing right now. Fascinating. Alshon Nation? Ooh, the orbital's been built. Nice. Alright, so... Alshon Nation has leveled up. That gives us the three options. I forgot to set the timer. 13 more minutes. So they're not on our government. They're just eager. So I'd like to... Leader cost, upkeep is reduced, leader experience gain plus 10%. Sure, we'll make them even more eager. Why not? They're still free until level 4, so that actually works out just fine for me. Meanwhile, over here, you are getting an another Corellian. Which... I'd love to increase the researchers. We don't need this clerk. Perfect. Look at that. Even more science. Much better. Speaking of better, let's set you guys to a tech world. Because if I recall, the Corellians are pretty good when it comes to yeah, cause you you have increased science. You have improved science? Engineering for jobs. Thing. Yeah, I'd rather these two be swapped. Because the Corellians are actually better in science. It's upsetting that I sometimes gotta micromanage that. Uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves another tech lab and improve our science even further. Ooh, or I could go with Unity and get a temple. Oof. All these improved would be nice, but I don't think that's necessary. I really just need more science. Food. All the free stuff that the uh, Chlorvincerians get is really rough. Their technology is now superior to mine. Their fleet power is now superior to mine. Incoming transmission. Established embassy. Oh, right. You, I should not have established that embassy. It's... They are a menace to space. They are seaweed. Incoming seaweed is meant to only work. Sure, but we'll go ahead and establish more embassies. There's a better chance we can have better relations with the entire M with the entire galaxy. If we do that. In this current moment, especially since everybody's kind of overwhelming to me, and I wasn't fast we enough. We are spreading our faith to a new world. Ooh, where? Oh, the habitat. Right. Right. I need to build another little orbital thingy. Build mega structure, another minor orbital. We'll keep doing that. So this orbital habitat now has the habitability's been improved. Features. Alright, we'll figure out how it works in just a moment. 
may want to consider, though, just building even more habitats everywhere. Incoming transmission. Go ahead and... Oh, with another hive mind? Sure. <laughs> Means better than nothing. Need better alloys. How are we going to do that? The sleepers have awakened. It began as a subtle shift in the Zabarian behavior. Scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels, visiting ancient, ruined worlds, refusing all hails and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission are unknown. Till now. We now know that the Zabarian were preparing, recovering the databanks of survey beacons and automated scouting posts left behind when they retreated to their present borders, gathering information for the return to the galactic stage. In Zybar space, fleets are gathering. Armies are being mustered and ancient factories roaring to life. For the first time in an age, the Zabarian Crusaders are looking outwards, beyond their borders, and towards the galaxy at large. As their decayed shipyards are repaired and refitted, and the dormant systems of the Titan foundries come online, the rest of the galaxy is left with only one question. Who will this one sleeping giant target first in their quest to reclaim age, old, glory, lost? There are giants in the playground. <laughs> Child of the stars, hear us. We have the barren crusaders. <clears throat> the chosen people of the galaxy. For centuries, we have neglected our duties up towards the spiritual needs of the lesser species. But no more. Accept our doctrines and convert. Or be ground to dust, attempting futile resistance. There is no other choice. Alrighty, so the Zabarian Crusaders, where are they? Are they a threat to my empire? How close are they? So they are a sleeping empire of olden times. I was kind of just sitting back. Okay, so they're right over here. They're, they're a ways away from me, but I'm certain that if I tick them off, they would definitely not be, um, they, they would definitely not say it's uh, not worth their time. But, uh, at this point, uh, new friends brings us one step closer to Definity. Uh, I'd rather get on their good side, as everybody else is already really powerful compared to me. Submit to the filth, and save your stars. Glow pearls, it is not yet too late for you. The Zabarian Crusaders, they are absolutely terrifying. We have no idea anything about them. If we even try to look inside of their empire, we can see that they are now rebuilding everything back up. Peaceful traders, nice. But for now, I am still simply gonna worry about the Clivorsarians right next door to me, who are now superior to me in fleet power yet again, despite me all this time trying to prevent that from happening in the first place. With that, we may have to be start buying some food. Sonified science. The Pearl Navigator crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within an unusual pattern. Interesting. A complex zonification of an advanced mathematical equation, to be precise, one that science officer Milk and Holland cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown, though its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. The signal's geodes uh, des de geodesics suggest a path of origin from outside of our galaxy. Fascinating. That's even more science. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. We've finished the reactors. Code breaking. 
See, this is something I would like to get. Advanced Shields would be good too, but I think I'd rather just go with Code Breaking. Get the Bureau of Espionage, give us even more Envoys, which we can then be using to get even more Unity, which are now at 267 up. Speaking of, ooh, the Orbital's been built. Uh, we only have 130, so let's see. Omega Structure. Um, we need a lot more. We're gonna go ahead and build that Mega Structure. It's gonna take a couple of years. Tagnar. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade the planetary capital of it. I should take care of everything else. Whereas over here. I mean, I really am trying to improve my science. You have nothing but... Yeah, so that's just nothing but seaweed. Go ahead and keep building more research labs. Uh, at this point, actually, research labs are probably the wrong answer. Yeah, we need more... Need more industrial districts. Because I need a lot more alloy production. The spirits have granted us we are 67 wisdom. years in the game and I'm still only at 45. This is honestly absolutely terrible. Latent psionic powers in one of the other empires. New research. We now have orbitals. Synthetic plants are. Ooh, armored torpedoes. I was looking for those. Oh, plasma thrusters. Star fortress. Oh, these are so good. All of these are actually really good. I think we're going to get the armored torpedoes. These are just really good weapons. I think it allows us to start getting even better torpedoes in the nearby future. Ah, uh, our energy credits are really tanking, though. A lot of it comes to... because of... Alloys! Alloys cost a lot. Guarantee was revoked. Goodness. Deciding we're just too weak. Um, keep improving science because I'd rather not be behind in science compared to everybody else, which we still are. Incoming transmission. up for milk bale. Your governor of our capital. You're meant to gain a lot of levels really fast. And you are on the council, so I could make it to where um, trade values increase, pop-up keeps reduced. Pop-up keep would help the consumer goods. Kind of. A little bit. Resources from jobs increase, pop-up mini usage on the planet, or... Your experience gained by 50%. Try to make milk bale as old as possible. Let's do that. Well, as, as experienced as possible. I want to get those dynasty traits that uh, that exist. I've never gotten a leader high enough level to do that. All right, we have seaweed on this planet. That need desperately needs a job. Situation log update. Birth of the galactic market. We'll, we'll cover that here in just a moment. Why? Really? You guys are insistent. The faithful have claimed a new world. There. Perfect. More researchers, because there's no reason for y'all to be working a different kind of job. Ugh, that's frustrating. Alright, so that's been solved. What about you guys over here? See, clerks. Like, you both, you both could be clerks right over there, but we need more of these jobs up here. Do I even need an enforcer? What's my crime at? From Pops. No, you, we don't even... See, we don't even need an enforcer. 
Just go ahead and get a better job, such as a researcher. Perfect. That's that's more like it. Whereas over here on Aura, Oro Habitat. Uh, research jobs, consumer goods, and alloy jobs. Hmm. You just want to go with the industrial districts. Ooh, or it can get clerks! Nah, I think we gotta go industrial districts, right? Upkeep. That's gonna cost me. Yeah, but it's definitely worth it. it saves me a lot. Well, you. So, what's going on over here? See, again, you guys are becoming clerks for no good reason. Just become researchers. Perfect. Alrighty. Well, uh, we've we're at this point we're finishing to manage our empire, make sure that we have a lot better science because our a lot of our pops were not getting the correct jobs. <laughs> I have no idea why. Um, but with that is going to be the end of the episode for this one because we are now out of time. But tune in next time, the birth of the galactic market.